what's going on everybody rob here today i'm doing a video on this ac pro i have a full can i used i used to use these i used to use these and my air conditioning on my van is sometimes it goes on and sometimes it goes off sometimes it goes on sometimes it goes off sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't right so what i used this for right now was to check the pressure to see if i was low on pressure in my system that means i'm losing pressure i have a leak or something like that so with this ac pro can completely full it said that i had enough pressure in my ac system right so then what do you do you got enough pressure in your ac system so then you got to evacuate some of your ac you got to evacuate that means you got more air in your system than freon all right here comes my buddy that's gonna do it for me I also don't use that AC Pro can or the, the, the cans like that because they all have leak sealant in it and the leak sealant is one of the worst things you could put in your car. It's always best just to have the leak repaired. So you're going to say you got a leak in a hose or a leak somewhere in your AC line and you're going to put all this leak sealant in there and it's going to plug up your, uh, I won't say it's your condenser, it's not your condenser, it's your condenser, it sits in the front of your radiator. And that's where all flows through where well, there's really tiny little holes in there that they need to uh, put the fluid around and it plugs all that up if you put that spray can in with the leak seal all right i started the video yesterday but it's, we got rained out over here i'm with mendez mendez auto right now and mendez auto repair is he just did my put my freon in and a lot of people say well how much for a recharge how much for a recharge it's not just the recharge where you go because if you just get the recharge in there and you got a leak or you got a bad sensor the recharge isn't going to give you air so, so i'm a jack of all trades master of none and i couldn't uh recharge it with that can i told you that can is bs that can said i had full pressure in there so i called mendez from mendez auto and he says you know what he, he don't use that stuff and I, I knew not to use it i just wanted to check the gauge to see where it was at so he evacuated my system for me and when you evacuate the system say all right say you got an aerosol can and you spray all the air out the aerosol can all right so that's your system with no, nothing in it right but if you just charge it you still had air just regular air in your line so you have to evacuate you had to need a special tool to evacuate the system and it creates like a negative suction like it takes all the air out of every line in here so that's what the evacuation does so you need your system evacuated that's a proper way to recharge your system and then you close it with negative pressure so as long as it holds that negative pressure you evacuate it out you close the whole thing up and then you watch your pressure gauge as long as your pressure gauge ain't dropping you know you don't got a leak in the system so then you go ahead and put your canister to recharge your system but you you take all the all the regular air out of the lines and then when you open that up it's going to pull the air with the pressure now here's the trick right here let me show you the trick right here Oh, how you doing? All righty. I know about that. <laughs> this right here is the trick. Everybody doesn't have one of these. These right here are expensive. And then you could read the clutch. My high pressure sensor was zero. I had no high pressure sensor. I mean, it was out. So Mendez Auto did my, uh, after he did all my recharge and everything, I still wasn't getting cold air. So I would have been stuck. I would have not known what to do, what I had to change list unless you have one of these machines he could read the sensors that are opening and closing and what we needed so my high pressure sensor wasn't working he switched out my high pressure sensor my high pressure sensor is working this is completely ice cold right now ac no leaks in the line that's the professional way to do a ac uh, recharge so don't use those cans don't use those anything completely evacuated with an evacuator and then make sure there's a ne negative pressure make sure that doesn't move so you know and then you're able to recharge it all right uh, i'm gonna put the number up here for mendez auto uh he's in uh cal city area burnham area and he's the one that did this for me and another thing he did with this special tool right here is i couldn't figure out why one of my brakes was vibrating i did everything i couldn't figure out one of my brakes was vibrating he hooked this up to it and we went for a ride and this was able to read every single speed sensor and know which speed sensor was bad and which i had to change so check out mendez auto give him a call if you need anything done all right talk to you later subscribe like and share